welcome back to On the Flip Side. My name is Adam Shawalker, your host. Today we are going to be doing a review of the 2018 Yab record, Our Raw Heart. Uh, Eugene, Oregon-based doom metal band extraordinaire, uh, fronted by Mike Scheidt. Uh, this record is a bit of a departure from their earlier sound and kind of moves into a gentler while still very heavy direction. Um, I've been wanting to review this album since day one. Um, let's get into it. So we're back with this one. First song on the record is called A Blaze. It's got these really warm tones mixed with like these slamming drums that flow into a really, really beautiful overture and set an incredibly high standard for the rest of this record. Uh, one that will be met and exceeded in a lot of ways. But it's an incredibly high start for this album. The tone can kind of immediately be described as hypnotic. Mike Scheidt's vocal performance is top-notch as usual and it blends this kind of apothic delivery with guttural roars that can only really be described as or compared to the roars of like prehistoric creatures. The, the vocal delivery on this track is so powerful right off the bat and so promising for the rest of the record. You'll immediately notice how huge and full the mix sounds with these vocals and the rest of the instruments on the record and, and it just remains consistent throughout the entire record. The entire record has this really great practice and building and releasing tension which is demonstrated really well on this first track. Second track on the album we have is called The Screen. Uh, it's the first single they dropped off of this record and it's a very immediate tone shift on the first half of this record. And it's got this really primal rhythm with Shite giving some of his most raw vocal deliveries on, I think, the entire record. While on the first listen, this track doesn't really have much going on in a technical sense, but upon further delving into this record, you'll notice a lot of nuances on this track that could be considered some of the most nuanced deliveries in Yob's entire discography or this album. The whole track could almost be described as like a ritual for the creation of like fire or for like an accompaniment to the end of the world. Like th there's so much raw power and delivery behind every section of this track that it just, it has its own like power to it almost. The third track on the record is In Reverie and Lungs Reach. It's sort of a two part track. This track kicks off with a bass track which could only really be described as ominous with some incredibly rich tone and the guitar and the vocals and the drums all kind of collectively crash into the mix all at once. The cymbal work on this track really meshes well with the guitar part and adds kind of to the dramatics of the entire track. Shite sort of begins this vocal delivery that could kind of be reminiscent of like the wails of a banshee that descends to low note delivery and it really just, it only starts that process again and it kind of loops almost in a way. You get these really interesting up and down undulating vocals. It kind of sounds like a wizard delivering like an incantation. It's got incredibly powerful, but like deadly delivery, you know? All of the instrument work really intertwines behind his voice, which is really well done. And it pushes the vocal performance to a level that I would consider beyond impressive. So far every track on this record has such a full vocal delivery. It's almost like, you know, like a wise man trying to desperately deliver prophecies of the end times to like a crowd that won't listen or something. There's there's a lot of desperation and like ferocity behind the delivery of the vocals alone on this record. And it's really, really well done. Uh, the second half of this track resumes the bass solo parts kind of from the beginning of the track, but with an effect that I only assume is the Walrus FX Fathom reverb pedal, as well as some other sampled noises and filters. It really adds to this almost nightmarish soundscape. And the rest of the instruments, as well as Shite's vocals, careen onto the track in one of the most memorable, drawn out releases of tension I've ever heard and to call it masterful delivery would really be an understatement. I mean, so far, uh, we're, we're going off of disc one and disc two rather than side A, B, C, and D, just to keep the, uh, the parts down a little bit. But so far, disc one on this record is just promising and powerful tracks one after the other. And I think this is really the key to this record right here. I think 2014's Clearing the Path to Ascend was an excellent example of Yob's like, writing prowess and ability, but I think the entire experience of Our Raw Heart 
is really just a, a much more cohesive experience. It's almost like this kind of holy mountain of like Yob writing and music. It's less of like an album and more of an experience. And that is already apparent just off of the first disc. So we are going to come back after disc two and we will see you on the flip side and we'll give you some final thoughts after that and we'll talk about the record a little more. See you on the flip side. All right, we're back with disc two of the record. First track on disc two is Beauty and Falling Leaves. This is immediately a much brighter tone and mood than on the first half of the record, with some of the most gentle delivery of shite on the entire record. This whole track almost like celebrates life like a eulogy or like a letter to an old friend. The gentle intro kind of takes a back seat to a huge volume swell that carries most of the track to this kind of cathartic wall of sound. This is just another example here of this build and release tension that this record has done so well through the entire listen. Uh, and it fades once again to this gentle breeze and sway of this underlying melody that is underneath this entire track, even during the swells. It's really well done. Ultimately, despite Yob's layer of crushing and brutal delivery, this track makes it very apparent that how positive this record really is overall. And it's almost this cradle of sound that you could describe as comforting. The fifth track on the record is Original Face. On the start of this track, you're immediately greeted with a very heavy guitar tone and this screaming introduction of Mike Scheidt, who is resuming his heavier delivery. Despite how heavy the track is, though, it still feels like it's pulling from the positive flow of the last track and almost feels like an accompaniment or a second part to the last track, Beauty and Falling Leaves, that is. And especially with this album's consistent themes of like catch and release tension, this, this uh, track right here just feels like it has this natural flow to it and it also has this extremely juicy guitar solo or series of guitar solos that lead up and really accent the rest of the track well and help lead Scheidt's vocals into this full effect of uh, rage and anger and also gentle um, caressing of like the ears like th th there's so much going on in this track and so many layers to these vocal deliveries that you can't really categorize all of them and there's a lot of themes happening all at once it's extraordinarily compelling and really well done. The final track on the album is Our Raw Heart, the title track. The final track here starts with more of these lovely reverb effects and this guitar part that is extremely reminiscent of Beauty and Falling Leaves with another build-up and huge chugging wall of sound that once again feels incredibly refreshing. The more I listen to this record, the more apparent that the record itself is less of a collection of songs and more of a suite that concludes perfectly with this final track. Every theme on this record gels here perfectly. This huge triumphant crescendo of noise just echoes out through the rest of this song. And it really becomes apparent that Yob are masters of their craft, and it becomes more apparent with every release in their catalog. Our Raw Heart is no exception. This track and this album as a whole is one of the most emotive musical experience that I think exists today. Uh, in the wide expanse of the Doom genre, uh, for our final thoughts here, there's absolutely no substitute for Yob. If you have not had the pleasure of enjoying this record yet, please go out of your way to listen to this and to enjoy it because I don't think that there's any supplement for Our Raw Heart. I think that over years of Yob's development, starting from their formation in 1996 till this release in 2018, I think that they have just built such an enormous repertoire of really, really good, compelling music. And there is no reason, if you have not listened to Yob, that you have that you shouldn't have already checked them out. I think that uh, this album is definitely one of the strongest in their catalog, if not the strongest. Uh, other than that, what should I review next? What did you think of the record? Leave it down in the comments below um, and tell me how I'm doing. Thank you all so much for watching and so much for the support. I'm going to continue pumping these out as soon as I can or as quick as I can. Uh, to keep you guys entertained and I'm gonna see if I can't up some production value here in the next few weeks to months and uh, continue getting on with this channel. Um, thank you all so much again for watching.